Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to talk about three uh, jQuery methods which are not used too often but used a little sparingly and they are add, add back and end. Let's see how they actually work. I'm using codepen.io, it's an online editor that allows you to code out uh, you know, using JS, HTML, and CSS panes. I don't need the CSS pane, CSS pane that is. I just need the HTML, JS pane. And in the JS pane, I have enabled the latest jQuery library. You can see through the drop down, I have enabled the jQuery library. And the uh, editor is designed in such a way that you don't need to write the jQuery uh, ready routine. Okay, so whatever code you, uh, goes in is automatically applied uh, to the HTML. And you don't need to write uh, document.ready routine at all. Okay, so let's start. Let's see the add, add back, and end methods. So first things first. Let me push in some code. Uh, a pair of UL tags, opening, closing UL tags, and next I'm going to add three li items. They have a class of top, and uh, item number one, two, and three is actually thrown in. Okay, so everything is uh, self-explanatory so far, and an ordered list with three li items. Let's push in some more code. Three more li items, but uh, the difference is that they have a class of bottom and the textual content is item number 4, 5 and 6. Again, there's nothing that I need to explain. This is very basic, very standard, very self-explanatory. Uh, so this is as far as the HTML is concerned. There is no CSS. There's no requirement for a CSS uh, in this uh, file. Okay, but we need to use uh, the JS JavaScript in this manner. Okay, so as I said, you don't need to write the document ready routine. Uh, this is the way the you know the codepen.io uh, online ed editor is designed. So the first line actually says uh, target dollar sign top and add to it uh, bottom. So uh, target elements which have a class of uh, top and bottom as well. So basically acting like a group or a multiple selector, just combining two selectors. That is what add method in jQuery actually does. Okay. So, so far this is the browser preview guys here at the bottom nothing has been affected simply because uh, I've just targeted the uh, elements uh, or the tags elements rather and uh, I've not applied any formatting so let's do that okay next line applies a text decoration of line through onto all the items why all because three of them carry the class top three of them actually carry the class bottom and as I see it basically means the list items three list items okay so through uh, the second line in the JS pane panel I've actually affected all the six li items and they've been struck through very cool let's bring in the next line end now uh, simply writing end out here using the end method will not affect the code at all but bringing in the next line uh, will surely do now you see the background orange uh, has been applied only to the first three you know affecting only the top class and not the bottom class why because the end what does end do end will nullify the effect of the uh, second addition or deletion of these selectors the last action that was taken upon these selectors is nullified or neutralized or, or cancelled so it'll see through the bottom and just uh, honor the top that is what end does so even if instead of using add out here had I used any traversing or filtering method that method would be ignored would be overlooked and only the first selector would be actually honored so this is what end does it uh, destroys the last action that was taken upon uh, the selector in the very first place okay and it uh, you know it, it affects only the original selector and whatever traversing or addition of you know subtraction or deletion or modification was uh, done upon it is uh, ignored so that's as far as the uh, add and end methods actually go let's bring in some more code now I'm going to talk about add back so I'm targeting uh, the first child of the UL basically item number one and then next all so basically item number two three four five five and six so this uh, single line says that first catch hold of the first item uh, among the children of the UL that's item number one uh, but affect the next all so basically uh, this one single line actually means affect item two three four five and six okay so let's see how I'm saying uh, please affect two, three, four, five, and six by throwing in a border all around of two peaks solid red. And you can see item one was actually ignored because the next all traversing method. Okay, so it just affects the next all after the first li item. 
So you see two, three, four, five, and six uh, alloy atoms have been affected with the border two peak solid, right? Okay, so let's see what the add back actually does. Now I'm saying add back uh, CSS border two peak solid. Red. What add back actually does? Not only it affects the next all, but it also affects the one previous to that. So it's gonna add back next all and first add back means please add one more selector, the one that was just prior to the next all. Okay, so it's gonna catch hold of the previous selector and also the one just prior to that which is the first so first and next all basically all of them next all add back is now targeting the first and the next all um, selectors and hence the whole li list is actually uh, uh, having a border of 2px solid green as simple as that so add back adds back one more selector just the one prior to uh, the one that we had used and the end actually goes one step back but then destroys you know destroys the the action that was taken to add or remove the selectors here we have used add it could be some traversing or filtering method too okay this is so simple guys this is how the add add back and end methods in jQuery actually work though uh, they are not used quite a lot a little sparingly so guys I hope you found this information useful you have a good day and guys if you want to see the preview I think if you open up this URL uh, just this much the one that I'm actually highlighting let me just try try it out I just paste it and say go yeah so just uh, you know just this URL if you can just use this URL you can actually see the the preview we don't need the CSS pane okay just need the js and the html pane this is the browser preview so guys you have a good day bye bye peace